What's up, everybody? I'm Doc Justice, and this is the Halter Technical Pro Jam. I'm going to be hitting different sound mixers with a series of rapid fire questions to get their unique perspectives and thoughts on the world of sound. Today, I have production sound mixer Steve Morrow with us. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. You ready to get right into it? Let's do it. All right, here we go. How long have you been a sound professional? I've been a sound professional for 24 years. What made you pursue a career in sound? I think the, the major thing is I just wanted to be in the film business in some way. And when I first started, sound was the worst part of any project that I had ever turned in uh, in college. So I took a class, learned how to do it, and fell in love. What movies or productions would you say you're best known for? The movies I'm best known for are probably La La Land, uh, Star is Born, uh, Ford versus Ferrari. Uh, I've, some older ones are uh, Little Miss Sunshine and Up in the Air. What was the job or call you were most excited to get? The job I was most excited to get, I think, was A Star is Born. Uh, I had tried to get on the screen test and wasn't able to, and then got the call to interview, and I was just very excited, very pumped to do that movie. What equipment do you rely on most to do your job right? I think the, the, the equipment that I rely on the most are probably the radio mics, uh, electrosonic SSMs. I believe I have near 20 of them in my package. Uh, and then secondly, our sound devices recorders. Uh, I have a pair of 970s uh, to record all those 20 tracks. What tools or gear would you say is your secret weapon on set? My secret weapon on set actually is uh, the boom and utility person. You know, you're, you're only as good as your crew. Uh, I've been lucky enough to work with Craig Dollinger for the last 20 years. He was my uh, boom man ever since. And, um, and we jump in and out of different utility people, but uh, they're all solid people. Right now we're using Michael Coletta, although is anybody using anybody? What do you love most about your job? The thing I love most about my job is being your own boss on set. Uh, essentially, obviously you work for the director and for the producers, uh, but as long as you're doing your job right, you're pretty much your own boss. You're on your own. If you couldn't work in sound, what would you do for a career? I would sell oranges on the side of the freeway. What moments make you most proud on set? The moments that make me most proud on set are when you do a good job, you know you killed that scene, you mixed it right, the boom man hit his marks, the radio mics work perfectly, and nobody noticed. I think that's when you are really excited because that, that's, that's your own personal uh, success on set. Who are some of your mentors and heroes in sound? Uh, my mentors and heroes in sound are uh, Simon Hayes, who's an incredible sound mixer in the UK, uh, I guess worldwide. And um, I would also say uh, Jeff Wexler was a big influence on me when uh, I first started getting um, into sound. What was your first professional sound gear purchase? My first professional sound gear purchase was actually a mixing board. Um, it was a Mackie 1202. And the reason I bought it is because the rental houses had um, recorders, uh, nagras, and uh, microphones that were easy to, um, to, to, to rent, but the mixer was something, something new. This was 24 years ago. So uh, that was my first professional purchase. What more are you looking to accomplish in your career? Uh, I'm, I'm actually very happy with my career. Uh, I think I'm just more excited to get back on set, get back to work, um, I, I think just working with amazing filmmakers and storytellers is um, kind of the reward enough. I've been very lucky in getting to work with those people uh, in the majority of the work I've been doing in the last you know, decade or so. What do you think is your next major equipment purchase? I would say my, my next major equipment purchase was, is probably going to be a, uh, a, a giant uh, mic input to... Uh, Dante uh, box. We have a movie coming up uh, before the shutdown. We had a movie coming up in January that was going to be a live orchestra throughout the whole film, uh, which was going to be a ton of tracks, uh, more than we've had on the Star is Born, which was about 62. So this will be the, uh, the, the bigger mic input to record the orchestra live. What do you think it is that separates you from standard sound professionals? I, I try to have fun on set. I try to um, do the best job that I can without making a, a big deal out of the, uh, the small things. Um, I think when you can go to work and people enjoy working with you, I think that's a, a big deal. Um, and then when you have issues on set, uh, people listen to you and they want to help you because you haven't been calling, you know, Wolf the entire movie. 
Well, that's all for this edition of the Pro Jam. Thank you, Steve. All right. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Thanks for checking out the Halter Technical Pro Jam. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with all the HT news and announcements, as well as more Pro Jam sessions with different sound professionals. I'm Doc Justice, and we'll see you next time.